Hi, I'm Donna and I'm part of the wellbeing team at Bendigo Senior Secondary College. We have a really supportive team available for you at school, but it's also important for you to know the types of services that are available to you outside of school. And today we're here at Anglicare Youth and Community Services and here to talk to Tim about the types of support they have available to you and your families. So Tim, tell us a little bit about the types of support you have available here at Anglicare. Yeah, so thanks Donna. Um, we support young people predominantly from the ages of 12 to 21. Um, we support them through a wide range of programs that we have here. Um, and we work with them on all sorts of issues around education re-engagement or disengagement, um, maybe some periods of homelessness or some family support, maybe some family mediation. Um, also, you know, if we've got any young people that might be struggling in other areas, they might have some issues with the police or the justice system. Um, and there's also other areas where the young people that have been in out of home care and, you know, moving on out of care into, um, you know, independent living and things like that. So, yeah, that's mainly the support areas that we focus on. Can you give us some examples of why people come and use the services here at Anglicare? Yeah, look, young people come and visit us for a wide range of reasons. They might be having issues at home with mum and dad. Um, you know, they might be experiencing a period of homelessness or couch surfing with friends. They might want to look at, you know, different options about education or employment or re-engagement to different things or just, you know, building their connections within the community or, you know, young people might just have some goals that they want to build some confidence in some other areas and, you know, depending on different programs and supports we have available, we can work on a number of different things, you know. What can people expect when they come and see someone here at Anglicare? Yeah, look, once a, uh, a referral is made, either by a young person or family member or, you know, a worker that they're working with, look, they'll be contacted by one of our youth intake workers and we'll look to do an intake. So during that intake process, we'll ask a lot of questions just to try and get a bit of information around the young person, you know, what's happening in their life at the moment, you know, maybe some goals that they want to work on, or, you know, just some really good information that can help us best service a young person. We might also contact, you know, the person that made the referral or their parents or other family members with their permission, obviously, so we can gather a great picture of what uh, you know, how we can support the young people. Yeah, so once our intake's been completed, our leadership team get together and we determine what best supports uh, we have in place for the young person, and determine which program we put them into. Um, and once we've done that, yeah, we'll, we'll get a worker to contact the young person or their family, and we'll start to, to meet with them and start to work on those goals that they might have identified that they want to work through. Um, we come from an advantage thinking space, and so we're, our, our main goal is to work for, with young people to get them from that surviving to a thriving mentality. So. How can students and families get in touch with you? Yeah, look, so anyone can make a referral to youth services. That could be a young person, a family member, you know, a community worker, the police, or anyone really can put a referral in. Uh, the best way to, to get, get some help through us is to, to contact us directly by the phone. Um, so that's 54401100 or send through an email to our youth intake team at youth.intake at anglicarevic.org.au. That's probably the best way to contact us. Or alternatively, you can come in at any time to our office here at Monday Street um, and you know, ask to see someone. The best way to contact though, like I said, is the phone or the email. Because we are so busy and we have such a big team, we might not always be available on the day when you come in. So it's best to try and make an appointment first so we can make sure that we're around to, to meet with you when you come in.